Okay, so let's take a look at Spaces now. Spaces allows you to organize your work by grouping application windows into various spaces. Then you can quickly switch between spaces. Let's go ahead and show you how to set this up in System Preferences. You simply select Expose and Spaces. In the Spaces area, you enable Spaces. So you add applications based on clicking the little plus sign and selecting the applications in your finder and then you assign a space. So for space one on my setup I have Go Live and Illustrator. Space two I have InDesign and Photoshop. Space three I have iMovie, iPhoto, iWeb and space four I have iCal and Mail. And you could add additional rows or columns or just have one and two how many ever you like at this particular time I haven't uh, experimented to see how many I can really get but four is good for me okay so let me show you how this works so I am actually in space four right now you can see up in my little bar at the top now I simply select shift F9 and it shows me just as in expose did before what applications are in this various space I'm in. Now to move between the space, this is space four. To go to space one, I would select control one. And this gives me my space one. And to see all the applications that I have in here, select shift F9. And I have go live. And then I have my actual go live site. And then I have an illustrator file. Now to get to another space, let's hit control two. And this is my second space. And to view these once again, let's select Shift F9. Now I'm in InDesign. And now I'm back in Photoshop. So let's select Control 3, see what we've got over there. Control 3. Okay, so it looks like we've got iWeb going on here. And we also have iPhoto and iMovie. So that's how you work with spaces and I think this is going to be really useful. It takes away the desktop clutter and enables me to work quicker between my various spaces. And you've also still got the application switcher available to you by simply holding down command tab you can get to all the other applications that are currently running on your system. So these are just showing active applications and to get to them once again you would simply just release and actually it gives you a little preview at the bottom you can see that little icon comes up that shows you that you're in a new workspace. So that's Spaces. Have fun with it and uh, we've got some more coming up in just a minute. Alright so what you're looking at on my screen right now is a very rich HTML email that I created in mail and I sent to myself. Now mind you I was using one of the templates that included with mail but there are already hacks out there on how to go in and create your own stationery and I'm hoping that in the very near future that Apple will be kind enough to give us that application so that we can create our own templates. But anyway, I was able to go ahead and put these images in here, customize my text, so it was very easy to do. Now, I know there's a lot of organizations out there that need to be able to send out rich text emails. I know a few companies that can come to the top of my mind that I've actually done stuff for where they say, you know, we need to send out an internal sales blast, a good looking memo. That's not just text. Catches folks eyes. Well, would you like to see how to do this? Here we go. It's very, very simple. So to create that email, we're going to simply recreate this. I'm going to select new message. I'm going to get rid of my signatures. Now here I can choose to show stationary. And when I show stationary, it gives me samples of the templates that are already built in to the new mail. Now there's various announcements. You can have photo, here's stationary, birthday, sentiments, thank you, my heart belongs to you, get well. So what we're going to do is go to the photo template and there's one called tack board and this is what the template looks like. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to change the body copy in there because these are all just placeholders and I'm going to choose to hide the stationery and then we're going to drag images in these various placeholders also. So Right here, I'm going to type Wrigley Field. 
I've already got my text saved, so I don't have to copy that. Okay, click here, paste it, there's my text. Next, I've got all these little images here. I'm going to open up my photo browser, bring this on screen, and I believe I have a folder here called email and I've saved my images in here so first of all what I'd like to do is throw some images up here this one fits here that looks great there I've got another wide one over here let's see what else we've got we can throw this image here and we've got Bailey and I'll come here and we've got Bailey and I will go here. And then last but not least, Wrigley Field goes there. So I'm going to go ahead and close the photo browser. So now I've got all my images right in place. I could actually format my text a little bit if I wanted to. You know, add a little spacing to it, make a little make it look a little bit better. So if I show my fonts. I have Georgia and it's 14 point and I'm happy with the way this looks so far. So let me move this out of the way and I come back to my text message. This looks good. I think it's ready to go. So now all I have to do is choose an address in here and I am going to send it to myself again. And this is called more photos from Wrigley Field. Wrigley. All right, now let's go ahead and select send, and it is on its way. And when this gets to my inbox, this is what I'll have. So that's new Mac Mail with some of the stationary options. Some of the folks that did a report on this said they didn't think it was that important. People that send stationary have way too much time on their hands. Well, you know what? A lot of people like getting these kind of announcements rather than a bunch of text on the screen. I'm all for the visual imaging. I am a graphic designer, years and years in the biz, and I like the images, and I hope you guys will too. So that is the list of improvements. Oh, also there's to-dos and notes that you can add in here for mail also. So those are some of the improvements that I really dig in mail.